The pearls field is like uncovering a cheat code for the fabric of reality. We're discovering galaxies for the first time, encountering phenomena that defy logic, and unearthing secrets that could shift our view on reality itself. What if the pearls field is the universe's way of leaking its own spoilers about galaxy formation? Imagine understanding the building blocks of the universe right from its first light. Could this mysterious region actually show us the dawn of time? Here's where it gets even more intriguing. Scientists have spotted phenomena in the pearls field that are basically plot holes in the universe. Are these phenomena challenging our understanding of physics? The pearls field isn't just about what we know. It's about what we're about to discover. It's like opening Pandora's box, but instead of finding evil, you just find more Pandora's boxes inside. What could be lurking in this celestial treasure trove that we haven't seen yet? In this video, we'll answer all these questions and more, so stay tuned. All right, let's set the stage for the Pearls field. To appreciate its significance, we need to talk about the James Webb Space Telescope, the powerhouse behind these discoveries. Launched in December 2021, this telescope is the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, but with capabilities that are light years ahead. We're talking about a telescope that can gaze into the most distant corners of existence as we know it capturing images in unprecedented detail. And what makes James Webb the cool kid on the block? It sees in infrared. That's right, it can see you questioning your life choices even through interstellar dust and gas. This allows it to reveal objects that were previously hidden from our view. It's like having x-ray vision, but instead of seeing through walls, we're seeing through the veils of time and space. So where does the pearls field come in? This region was one of the first to be observed by the James Webb Space Telescope. And let me tell you, it did not disappoint. The Pearls Field is located in the constellation of Ursa Major, and it's a region dense with galaxies. But these aren't just any galaxies. They're distant galaxies that could hold clues to the universe's early days. By this point, you might be wondering, why is it called the Pearls Field? Well, because Panchromatic Extragalactic Representative Volume Survey is a bit of a mouthful. It's designed to be a comprehensive study of galaxies across different wavelengths, giving us a more complete picture of the cosmos. But here's the kicker. The Pearls field has already started to challenge our understanding of galaxy formation and evolution. Initial observations have revealed galaxies that don't fit the mold of what we expect to find. Some of these galaxies are older than anticipated, suggesting that our timeline of the universe might need some serious revisions. And if that's not enough to blow your mind, consider this. The Pearls field could also shed light on dark matter and dark energy, two of the most mysterious and least understood aspects of our universe. So, as you can tell, the Pearls field isn't just another patch in the celestial quilt. It's a game-changing lab that could reshape our understanding of the fabric of reality. Initial observations from the James Webb Space Telescope have uncovered something extraordinary in the Pearls field a galaxy that's predominantly made of dark matter. Dark matter has always been a scientific enigma, detectable only through its gravitational pull on other celestial objects. But here, in this unique galaxy, dark matter isn't just a background player, it's the main event. This opens up a realm of possibilities, from groundbreaking theories in particle physics to revolutionary propulsion technologies that could make interstellar travel a reality. We might even get closer to solving the age-old mystery of gravity itself. But hold on, the Pearls field has more surprises up its sleeve. Some galaxies in this region are evolving at rates that defy all of our existing models. Imagine having a roadmap of the universe, only to find out that some galaxies have taken a shortcut, reaching complex developmental stages much quicker than anticipated. This isn't just a footnote, it's a challenge to our entire astronomical narrative. Could these rapidly evolving galaxies be the result of unique conditions in space? Might they be influencing other celestial phenomena in ways we haven't considered? The implications are staggering and could lead to a complete overhaul of how we think of galactic evolution. And for those who might question the validity of these groundbreaking discoveries, the scientific community is already in a frenzy. Researchers are double-checking the data, recalibrating models, and some are even daring to draft preliminary theories that incorporate these anomalies. The academic world is going nuts, and peer-reviewed papers are flooding journals, and it wouldn't be surprising if these discoveries put someone on the fast track to a Nobel Prize. So what we're seeing in the Pearls field is turning out to be a treasure trove of anomalies. 
from potentially unlocking the secrets of dark matter to challenging our theories on galactic evolution, this region is setting the stage for a new chapter in our journey through the cosmos. All right, let's dig a little deeper into the Pearls field, starting with its sheer scale. This region covers an area of the sky almost as large as the full moon, which is about half of a degree. That might not sound like much, but in astronomical terms, it's a massive playground. Within this area, astronomers have identified a diverse range of galaxies, spiral, elliptical, and even irregular ones. It's like a celestial zoo, each galaxy with its own unique characteristics and history. Next, let's jump into the oh-so-fun term of galactic cannibalism. It's not just a catchy phrase, it's a real observed phenomenon. In the Pearls field, some galaxies are so massive that their gravitational pull is irresistible to smaller, neighboring galaxies. These smaller galaxies get pulled in and eventually merge with the larger one, a process that can take millions of years. As they merge, the larger galaxy absorbs the mass and resources of the smaller one, including gas clouds that can trigger new star formation. This results in vibrant, young stellar populations and can even change the larger galaxy's shape and size. It's like watching nature's version of corporate mergers, but on an obviously astronomical scale. Switching gears, let's explore the concept of cosmic filaments. These aren't just lines in space, they're more like the universe's backbone, stretching over hundreds of millions of light years. The Pearls field is uniquely situated near one of these filaments, which are primarily composed of dark matter and intergalactic gas. Their gravitational pull can influence entire galaxies, possibly serving as a catalyst for rapid evolutionary traits we're observing in the Pearls field. Imagine a highway that not only connects cities, but also influences their growth. That's what these filaments could be doing, but on an astronomical scale. And what about black holes? These aren't mere destroyers. They're complex phenomena. When material, like gas clouds or even entire stars, falls into a black hole, it forms an accretion disk around it. This disk can get so hot from the gravitational energy that it emits X-rays and even jets of particles at nearly the speed of light. These jets can interact with surrounding gas clouds, compressing them enough to kickstart the formation of new stars. So in a way, black holes in the Pearls field could be acting as celestial matchmakers, aiding in the birth of new stars. Next on the list, quasars. These aren't just bright spots in the sky, they're astronomical powerhouses. Quasars are powered by supermassive black holes that are millions to billions of times the mass of our sun. As material falls into these black holes, it heats up and emits enormous amounts of energy, often in the form of X-rays or gamma rays. The Pearls field contains several quasars, and their extreme luminosity makes them ideal research hubs for studying the conditions of the early universe. They're like the rock stars of the cosmos, drawing attention to themselves while also providing valuable data. Okay, let's talk about the search for extraterrestrial life. The Pearls field, with its diverse range of galaxies, offers a multitude of environments where life could potentially exist. Scientists are particularly interested in habitable zones around stars within these galaxies, regions where conditions might be just right for life as we know it. Some researchers are even proposing targeted searches for biosignatures in the Pearls field, which are chemical markers like methane oxygen that could indicate the presence of life. All right, from here, let's venture into the realm of theories and speculation. This is where we'll let our imaginations run a bit wild, but backed by some scientific musings. First up is the dark matter highway theory. We know the Pearls field is near a cosmic filament, but what if this filament is more than just a structure? Some scientists speculate that these filaments could act as highways for dark matter the substance that supposedly makes up about 27% of our universe. The idea is that dark matter could be channeled along these filaments, almost like cars on that highway. If this holds up, the Pearls field could be a major crossroads or even a wellspring of dark matter, altering our ideas about the structure of reality. Next, let's delve into galactic recycling. We've touched on galactic cannibalism, but what happens to the consumed galaxies? Some theories propose that the material from these devoured galaxies isn't lost, it's recycled. Over millions of years, this material could coalesce to form new stars, planets, or even entirely new galaxies. Think of it like nature's way of upcycling, where nothing goes to waste. 
Astronomers believe this could happen because of a principle called the conservation of angular momentum. In simpler terms, it's like spinning a basketball on your finger. Once it starts spinning, it wants to keep going. In the universe, this means that the material from consumed galaxies would continue to move and eventually form new celestial objects. Now, onto cosmic archaeology. What if the Pearls field is a fossil field, a snapshot of the early universe? Some astronomers speculate that the diverse range of galaxies here could serve as a time capsule. They think this because the light from these galaxies has taken billions of years to reach us, essentially showing us a picture of the past. This could yield groundbreaking revelations about the dawn of existence and perhaps even insights into the Big Bang itself. Let's get a bit more speculative with the holographic universe theory. This mind-bending idea suggests that our 3D reality is a projection from a 2D surface. If this is true, each galaxy, star, or even the Pearl's field itself could be a sort of pixel in this grand projection across the fabric of reality. While this theory is way on the fringes, it's supported by some string theories and aims to reconcile quantum mechanics with general relativity. Our final thought in this space is the extraterrestrial beacon hypothesis. What if the Pearl's field is not just a collection of galaxies, but a signal to other life forms? Some speculate that the unique properties of the galaxies in this field, such as their high luminosity or unusual formations, could serve as a navigational beacon on a grand scale. They could either be a natural phenomena that attracts attention, or even a deliberately placed marker by an advanced civilization. So, there you have it. From dark matter highways to galactic recycling, from peering into the universe's past to pondering its very nature, the Pearls field is a hotbed for theories and speculation. Each idea not only deepens the mystery, but also opens up new avenues of research. So, by now you're probably asking, well, what's the big deal? Why should I care about the Pearls field? Well, sit tight, because the implications are monumental and could fundamentally reshape our understanding of the cosmos. If the dark matter highway theory is accurate, it's not just a cool concept, it's an unparalleled shift in our understanding of universal architecture. If these cosmic filaments act as conduits for dark matter, we could finally have a way to study it directly, rather than just observing its gravitational effects on visible matter. This could lead to groundbreaking advancements in particle physics, potentially unlocking new forms of energy or even methods of space travel. Next, delving deeper into galactic recycling, this isn't just a quirky theory, it's a paradigm shift in how we view the life cycles of galaxies. If galaxies can be recycled, it means the cosmos has a way of renewing itself. This could offer insights into how long celestial bodies can exist, and even provide clues about the universe's ultimate fate, whether it will expand forever or eventually collapse. This could have implications for our long-term survival strategies as a species, influencing everything from space colonization to resource management on Earth. And what about the search for extraterrestrial life? Well, if the Pearls field is a hotspot for biosignatures, the ramifications are obviously mind-blowing. The discovery of extraterrestrial life would trigger a cascade of questions about ethics, governance, spirituality, everything. How would religions adapt to this news? What new policies would governments enact to manage potential conflict with other civilizations? The implications here are just absolutely massive. So when we say the Pearls field is groundbreaking, we're not just talking about a collection of galaxies far, far away. We're talking about a seismic shift in our collective understanding, a new frontier in the human quest for knowledge. This isn't just a scientific endeavor, it's a journey that could redefine humanity's future. If you enjoyed this video and want to continue your journey through the cosmos, check out the video on your screen now about high redshift galaxies, our window through time to the universe's infancy. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.